Smoker was just a great friend that went through... See, when I went to jail, I was in a, a forestation camp. I, learned, I knew how to play guitar a little bit. Well, by the time I got out of there, after a couple of years, I could play the shit out of a guitar. Because I played guitar probably four and five hours a day every day I was there, and I was really lucky that they sent me to a forestry camp where I got to have a guitar. And um, actually, it was a 12-string. And I always, I always used to laugh because I was so good at playing a nine string because I never had all the strings for the damn thing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And um, uh, by the time I got out, see, really, it's like this, man, that we had the adventure in life growing up together. Uh, we became men together. I don't know. Or we, we grew through a stage in life together. Smoker was that part of life that died, man. I mean, people, you know, they, they, they find humor in people getting high and drugs and all that. But, hey, it kills people. And Smoker died. And, and what happened is when I went, when I got busted, well, me and Smoker and AJ were all busted together. But when I got busted, it was in my truck, so I took the beef. I went to jail. Smoker and AJ didn't. Um, when I got, I, I think I was the lucky one. I mean, I believe to this day I'm the lucky one because they stayed out. I don't know where what happened to AJ. Lost AJ in my life. Lost him. If you're out there, AJ, you know who I am. Um, and <clears throat> Smoker, when I got out of jail, they... You know, they woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning and told me, your ride's here, go on. And, and one of the guards that was getting off took me down to the bus stop, and they brought me off at the bus stop with 50 bucks and a suit of clothes. And uh, uh, I hitchhiked up to Huntington found, and found out found where Smoker and Bobby were living. Bobby. And they, when I got there, they had a real bitchin' house in the back, back area of Huntington Beach. And they were both junkies, man, my best friends. I woke up this morning, half past four. Got old cocaine's knocking at my door. My poke. Yeah, I found that note saying you ain't got no more coke. Oh, shit. Okay. So I'm running around with my friend. Oh, come here, baby. Come here, quick. So cocaine is about to make your sweet daddy sick. Bradford, down on me, looking for that little gal and sells cocaine. Some say cokes for horses ain't made.
get from them. They say it's gonna kill me, but they won't say when. Okay. So I lie. struck me there because I, I haven't played that song in years but that's a that's from New York the Greenwich Village scene I think Dave Van Ronk did that originally of course I think Cisco some guy what was Cisco's name he did it first then Dave Van oh I love Dave Van Ronk man oh demand You know, we were be it's something I learned the hard way, you know, with cocaine. We were better without it. And, and, and it was our generation. You know, I mean, I haven't gotten high in 25, 30 years probably since I've gotten high. Because I, I just turned that strobe light off. You know, my big problem now is I smoke a cigarette too many and I drink too much damn coffee. That's my big habit, you know. my But... Man, well, I remember we used to, you know, it was like, it was just a kind of, this is what we did, you know. But then later I found out that I don't need to get high to play my music. My music is a part of me. The drugs just weren't a good thing, you know. They, they took it, they stole from what you had, you know. It doesn't belong to the drugs. You know, you're, you're not good because you're high. You're good because you're good. You just happen to be high, you know, but you're good because you're good. You've got talent because you've got talent. You've, you've worked for something, so you got something. It isn't because you got high. You know, right. you know it, wasn't a good, it wasn't a good concert because you got high. It was a good concert because you went to see Led Zeppelin and they were fucking awesome. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't. It, it, and, and you look back on it and you go, oh my God, I hardly remember that. Because I was high too high to fly. And that's no good for people, you know. And I'm a survivor of that. And, and that's something I, I always want us to be able to say when we're doing this, Chris, is that even though you hear me talking about drugs, drugs were the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life. They stole the talent years of my life. Stole them. Um, no, drugs are the worst just the worst you know I don't relish any of that I feel real lucky I lived through it and I feel real sorry for people of such great talent didn't live through it you know that's a sadness dude that's a sadness well I'm a dope smoking cattle rope and whiskey drinking cowboy famous is my name can't you hear me coming on down that lonesome trail well, I've been to the east where I'm from out west And moving is my game Well, I guess I'll go now On down that lonesome trail Well, I was born on the table in the back of a saloon My mama drank her whiskey by the jug And my daddy was arrested For blowing up the sheriff That's how I got the name of fame Well, I roam this land just doing what I can I'm staying loaded all the time Here's the sheriff right behind me Saying fame is gonna take you in Well, I flew that old sheriff Cause I moved to Oklahoma Several town got the country life Now I'm picking guitar I'm in a honky tonk all the time Well, I was born on the table In the back of a saloon My mama drank the whiskey by the jug And my daddy was arrested Blowing up the sheriff. 
Tiger got the name of fame. Tiger got the name of fame. Tiger got the name of fame. Just for you, me, Mom. <laughs> As you can't tell, it's a real family song.